Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, dear guests. Most of us consider hearing as granted, but some people can only hear the sound of silence. Let me ask you this. How do you think this greeting would be in a deaf Toastmasters club? Maybe it would be Or something like that, my sign, language, my sign language is very rusty. My knowledge of the deaf people used to be what I learned by watching the film Children of a Lesser God. Now, back in 2006, I decided to take sign language lessons. Why? As a scuba instructor, I used to teach basic signs used in diving. So I thought sign language would be an interesting thing. And during that course, I learned a lot of things about the deaf people that I didn't know and I would like to share them with you. Now, the first thing is that, you know, we used to call deaf people deaf mute. That's an insult for them because most of them can actually speak. They can produce sounds, but because they don't have the experience of sound, they don't know how to speak, they produce awkward sounds they feel embarrassed, so they prefer to stay silent. The other thing about the deaf is that we see them signing between each other, and we think that they can communicate with everybody all over the world that is deaf. That's just one sign language that is just a pantomime. Actually, it's not. Every country has its own individual sign language, which is different than the others. And some countries have several sign languages depending on the region. It's a dialect because language is a living thing. The signs are created by the people that use the language. For example, in Cyprus Sign Language, the sign name for our president Anastasiadis is this, because he wears square glasses. Who else would know that apart from the deaf people in Cyprus? Actually, there is an international sign language, it's called Gestuno, but not many people know it. It's just a few and it's just mainly used in conventions. The Greek sign language is mainly based on the French sign language and the American. The Cyprus sign language, the Greek Cypriot sign language, is based on the Greek and the American and also has its own individual signs. And the deaf people will get upset if you use the Greek sign instead of the Cypriot sign. Sign language has its own syntax, like any language, but it's different than the spoken language. So if you read an SMS or an email written by a deaf person, you probably would have some difficulty understanding it because things will be swapped around. And the other thing about the sign language is that because of its limitation, it uses space as part of the language to denote position, sizes, or time in the past, the present, or the future. We consider usually deafness to be a handicap, but that's an insult if you tell that to a deaf person. They have a strong sense of pride, a strong sense of cultural identity, a community identity. They consider themselves a minority with rights, so much so that when they have deaf children, they will refuse to allow them, they, they will not allow them to have an operation, to have a cochlear implant, a device that will allow them to, to gain some hearing, because they think it infringes with their cultural identity. So it, it's the hearing trying to control the deaf. When we interact with deaf people, there's an etiquette because they, are, they have their own culture. For example, if we want to speak with a deaf person, if it's a scene, and we're behind them, it's very impolite 
to just go behind them and touch them, push them. They get startled. It's much better to go to the side and touch them, or better to the front, look them in the eye and wave, say, I want to speak with you. We shouldn't be very stressed when we interact with a deaf person because we don't know sign language. Because most of them can read lips. But in that case, we need to have clear view of them, eyesight, look them in the eyes, speak clearly and slowly, and not obstruct our mouth with our hands, a paper, or by munching food. Now in these, these few minutes, I hope you have learned a few things about the deaf people that you didn't know before. They are not children of a lesser god. They have their own language. They have their own sense of ID, their community ID. Their, their own culture we need to respect. They're just people like us. They just happen to live in the sound of silence.